and welcome to the Mini Minimalist. My name is Ruby and if you didn't know, I'm a 13 year old extreme minimalist vegan. So, today's video is going to be about how to do basic comedy folding. And I know it's a bit funny to take instructions from a 13 year old, but we're going to do it anyway. So today I'm going to be folding just some basic clothes. So I've got a t-shirt, camisole or a no sleeve top, a big jumper and some trousers. If you've randomly clicked on this video and you don't know who Marie Kondo is, she's basically a Japanese tidying up guru and she teaches people how to truly appreciate and love their things with her method Spark Joy. So when you touch an item like this, you feel really happy about how you wear it and whether you look good in it and that's basically her whole method for tidying up stuff and it is an amazing method so if you are interested in tidying up your things you can read her two books spark joy and the life-changing magic of tidying up anyway just one small tip before we start in case you're watching this and trying to fold at the same time then the tip is to make the clothes into a rectangle and most of the time we fold them in thirds. Anyway, enough talking, let's begin. So the first item is a t-shirt and we're going to put it face down so the lobe is on the table and we're going to take this part and fold it into the middle like so. And you want to smooth out your hands and like Kamari says, express love through your palms for the item. And that will help us to fold the clothes. And then you can take the other side and fold it inwards like so. And tuck in the sleeves to make a nice rectangle shape. You're going to want to smooth the item out like this. And then we're going to fold it almost all the way half, but leave about an inch space. And then, with this smaller rectangle, we're going to fold it into thirds. So, once and twice. If you've done it properly, you'll hopefully have the logo at the front and this part at the back. And it should be able to stand up properly. If you folded it correctly, it will stand up like this. Yay, I'm so glad I did that first time. It's been a while since I folded my, all of my clothes comedy. I'm going to put that on the side here. So this item is a camisole or no sleeve t-shirt, whatever you'd like to call it. Fold it into thirds, like so. One of the really good benefits of folding your clothes comedy is that if you're someone that doesn't iron their clothes, Comedy method tends to fold the clothes into making them look like they've been ironed or folded professionally. And that's really handy because then when you wear it, it looks very neat. So when folding a camisole, the straps do count as part of the item. So we're going to fold the straps with an inch at the end and a half, like this. And then we're going to fold it into thirds again. These are a little bit harder to stand up, but if you've done it properly, you should be able to stand up. Our next item is this big jumper. We're going to want to smooth it out, turn it over. Now, jumpers are a little bit more complicated. We're going to begin like all of the others and fold in one third towards the middle but now we're going to take the sleeve and smooth it out a little so it's all nice fold it in to the edge like this I hope you can see fold it in like this fold it back again so we're going to put this to the edge back again and down we're going to do the same with this side, I hope you can see better. This will go around like this. 
like third for all of the other ones the same then the sleeve is going to go right to the edge here and inwards again fold and back down for the sleeve and I'm just going to smooth it out and fold it all the way to the top with an inch to spare yay and this time we're not going to fold it into thirds we're just going to fold it straight in half and we have the logo at the front and the neck part at the back these ones are a little easier to stand up because they're quite stout i guess our last item is a pair of jeans oh my goodness why do you keep falling down and fold this all the way to the top with about an inch to spare and then we're going to fold this part into thirds like this and we've done pretty much all of the basics obviously all clothes aren't shaped this basically so i'm going to show you a couple of strangely shaped clothes which you can actually fold by combine so the first one we're going to start with is this dress fold it into thirds I'm going to turn it over so the logo is at the front. And then all the way up to the top with a gap to spare. And then into thirds again. Like so. And we come and fold it a dress. And our next one is this pretty awkwardly shaped t shirt. And put it into thirds. So this is basically a mid sleeve t shirt. And we're going to fold this inwards like this. And again into thirds. And fold the sleeve downwards where the seam is. Until it makes quite a fat rectangle. Fold it in half with a gap. And half again. Ta-da! And our last one is a long cardigan. So... Again. Okay. I find that cardigans are actually the hardest to fold with Kongmai because, yeah, especially this cardigan because it's so flimsy in material. It's, it's so like silky and it doesn't really work that well. So. I prefer to button up or zip up the cardigan or jacket um, because that keeps it closer together and easier. So I'm just going to button up here. So we're going to take the sleeve and fold it inwards into thirds. The sleeve is going to go to the edge of the folded part we just did. Back again. And then go downwards like so. Then take the other sleeve inwards to thirds, forwards, backwards, and down. Okay. This bottom part comes up to the top part of the cardigan with an inch to spare at the top. And then fold into thirds like this thank you for watching today if you enjoyed this video please click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see me again see you soon and sayonara